Hello, welcome back to our fourth segment of the accessory videos, Still Thinking About Crash Cymbals. Just a review. First, our first video was about just getting a good sound. Keep thinking, whoosh. Second video, we thought about changing our dynamics um, and how you do that by changing the size of the stroke, how much off center and how much double attack. Our third video, we got into muffling the cymbal and how, knowing how to do that. And remember, you don't want to change the good quality of sound, regardless of how long the sound is supposed to last. Our fourth video is going to get into some rhythmic passages and how do we deal with slow notes versus fast notes. That's going to be much the same way that we dealt with changes in dynamics. And that's why I keep preaching. We have those three things we're thinking about. A good stroke, we're playing off center, and we're playing with a double attack. And the reason I keep bringing those up in all of these videos those are the things we change as we think about dynamic changes or duration changes, and in this case, rhythmic changes. I just want to go over one thing on, on, uh, in, in showing how to do this based on some work I can do on the drum pad. Um, if, if you think about playing from slow notes to fast notes on really any drum, there is some adjustment to stick height. So let me show you this. If I play slow notes, I'll take a nice long time with a nice full stroke. As I get faster, the stroke will get somewhat shorter. But you'll notice the sound really didn't get any softer. So my first strokes were here and the fastest notes were about here, but the st sound stayed the same. And so as we talk about how stick heights always determine dynamics, the speed of the stick starts to play into that. The fast notes obviously had a faster stick speed, which gave us more sound, but an equal sound to the slow notes. So we're gonna run into the same thing on the crash cymbals that the strokes will get shorter but because the cymbals are moving faster, we'll maintain essentially the same sound. So let's think about our three things. We've got our stroke, our playing spot, which is usually off center, and our double attack. And we're gonna have to manage those things as we get faster. In general, we'll get a smaller stroke as we get faster, as well as we'll start to play with less of a double attack. The issue of playing off center really might be dependent on which symbols you're using. In general, we'll play a little bit more off center as the notes get faster. So if our typical off center playing spot is here, we may push it to here as we get some of the faster passages. So again, our stroke that we've been using for the big notes is going to get much shorter as we start to play faster. We're gonna to have to lose the double attack or we'll have too much, too much double attack and not enough clarity in the rhythm. And in this case, and I think this is probably the hardest one to work with and it just takes experimenting with the instruments you're using, we'll add some further off center to the skill. So I'm gonna, just like I did with the muffling, I'm gonna play along with the metronome and I'll progressively play faster notes. So we'll start whole notes and work our way up to uh, 16ths, maybe triplet 16ths, we'll see. So you can already see in the half note I shortened the circle. I took a really long time playing those whole notes. And remember, not speeding up at impact, but with the half notes, I had to come down a little shorter. So I'll start again at the half notes. So you'll 
notice I had to lose the circles. There just wasn't enough time. Even back at the quarter notes, I'm still trying to maintain that glancing blow. My left hand, I can see the circle there, and the right hand doing that. It's just really important to remember you just never want to come straight in with the cymbals. There'll be too much impact, and that will take away from our whoosh cymbal sound we're looking for. But the quarter note was about the end of the circle. After that, when I played eighth notes, it was really just about moving back and forth, kind of in this direction, my right cymbal going down and my left cymbal coming up. Keeping the cymbals only about two or three inches apart. And then as I played 16th notes on cymbals, which is very rarely um, going to happen in the repertoire, but uh, there are a few excerpts like that. So let's experiment a little with the cymbals off center this much, and then I'll move the cymbals off center that much, and let's see what's, what we hear. So maybe you can hear there was less air pocket at those faster notes when I really moved off center. That's just how these cymbals work with that. So just to review as we're dealing with the changes in rhythms, because not all crash cymbal notes are just big, beautiful whole notes. In our next video, we're going to play through some of the different repertoire where we do have eighth notes and we have different dynamics and we're always changing the stroke, the playing spot whether that's the symbols that are right on center or they're off center and the amount of double attack.